Chair recognizes Mr. Evangelidis of Holden. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and through you to the members. I also rise in opposition to this bill we're debating today. You really have to ask yourself as legislators, where do we draw the line? I mean, there has to come a point where we say it's none of our particular business if people are behaving in a way that we don't approve of or may not be in their best interest, because we live in a country where we, we honor and respect freedom of choice. And I think this is a classic example where not only where we have to draw the line, we have to draw it fur way further back than where we're thinking about doing it today. I know if you think about it, and I know you do, we certainly recognize that cigarettes aren't healthy. I think every single one of us has probably been up here at one time or another or made some re statement regarding the unhealthiness of cigarette smoking, and yet we don't ban cigarette smoking in Massachusetts. Certainly alcohol has caused extraordinary amount of hardship in this country. Um, personally, we've had uh, effects where it has drunk driving. It's had such a negative effect in society, but we don't ban alcohol. We'd have no bill here today to ban alcohol. I guess if you want to start thinking where we're going to draw the line, what about sodium? My goodness, have you ever read the contents of a can of Campbell's soup? Campbell's tomato soup has so much sodium in it, it almost immediately can come close to making you ill. And yet there's no, nobody here today saying we've got to ban sodium or excess sodium in foods. How about sugars? Do you realize that there are 12 tablespoons of sugar in a can of Coke? Now, maybe some of you don't realize that because I've seen some of you drinking Coke around here maybe even just the last week. But I think, you know, you should be aware of that. And maybe some of us that we're looking out for you should file a bill that says you can't drink Coca-Cola anymore because there's so much sugar in it, it's so devastating to your health. Because you all know if you put uh, something with rust in it, you use Coca-Cola to get it off. I think that sounds pretty serious to my health. And I think we ought to be considering banning that if we're going to take on trans fats. I think what's interesting about the current situation is right now, you currently, restaurants are required to inform fo people, patrons, if margarine is used in place of butter, and not all trans fats are even identifiable at this point in time. I would only suggest maybe we have a duty of legislators to make people aware of unhealthy things they may be ingesting into their bodies. Perhaps we'd want to have restaurants, some of you may want to consider a reasonable approach to be make restaurants identify themselves if and how much trans fats they use. But I certainly think we owe the respect to our constituents to let them make the determination whether they wish to ingest this food. That's not our job. That's not our right. And that's not what people have given their lives for in this country. So Big Brother continues to get closer behind them and taking over their lives. So Mr. Speaker, when this comes up for a vote on the, uh, on the bill, I would ask that uh, the members join me in opposition. Thank you very much.